Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming uh, to our first uh, NAPFA Midwest Speakers Bureau training. I know it's been a long afternoon, so we appreciate you turning out. We've got cake to celebrate the launch of the Bureau. Um, it's the birth of our project today. And just like when you have the birth of a child, it's usually preceded by a pregnancy. So this took a lot of work to, to get to this point. And so what I wanted to do was share with everybody so you kind of have an idea about what this is about and how it came about so you know about the history. And we're really happy to have everybody here. And we've got a lot of people to thank and a little bit of a story to tell. It's a really, I think, exciting opportunity um, for all of us. To begin with, um, the Speakers Bureau, and this is really funny, I thought somebody was going to be here, started actually with the NAPFA money bus because when we went to do a symposium in City Hall, we found all these huge posters and instead of promoting our symposium, it was promoting something else the next day. And one of the advisors was just really frustrated. And it, and it was a little bit frustrating. And the next year for the 2009 money bus, I was at a uh, meeting for financial literacy at the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland, and the same foundation was there. And I didn't say anything, but I remembered what that advisor had said, that NAF advisor, when they were frustrated. And I was thinking, well, you know, we have a group, and we are probably better qualified to provide this information to the public on a wider array of financial topics and in greater depth. So we ought to be doing that. And then probably a few years before, I had become part of the CPA Speakers Bureau. And it was a great idea, but the entire year we had one engagement, which was not in a very good neighborhood and was late at night, and I declined to do it. Um, but what I realized was they didn't promote it, they didn't market it. And again, I went back to Marketing 101. You can have the best product in the world. If nobody knows you exist, they're not going to beat a path to your door. So it was kind of clear that we really need the proper marketing talent. <laughs> so. We set aside, um, and I'm going to recognize a lot of people in here because I think they've done a lot of good work, and, I, and I'd like to do that. First, in um, National 2010, Ted, who's sitting back here, stand on up. Ted was president, and he said, Barbara, you know, let's, at the Midwest meeting, there's a meeting every year at National, go ahead and tell them about the idea. And I didn't think I was ready yet, but Ted told me to do it, so I did it. Um, and we held a meeting after that, and it was a number of us who were at the meeting. And from that subset, we ended up with what I call the founding members. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you about that. We held conference calls during the year, and we decided to do a few things. The first things we did is we wanted unique presentations. And we wanted to make a group of presentations that covered a wide array of topics, knowing that we're going to add more in more depth so that we can do a push-pull kind of thing, what people want to hear. But we all had to work on them and we talked about it. And so there's a lot of people here that I want to thank. First person couldn't be here today. They're going to be watching the webinar. They're, um, they're the city coordinator for Chicago and that's Cheryl Kruger. And the second person, and she's here, is Laurie Salverna. She's from Minneapolis-St. Paul and she's going to be the city coordinator in Minneapolis-St. Paul. And I want to say, you know, I think all of us are old enough here to know life doesn't always work the way we expect it to. And I didn't realize I was going to be president of our board the year we were doing this. And there were some times where it got a little bit rough. And the one thing I want to say is Cheryl and Laurie stepped up and said, whatever you need, we're here to help you. And I just want to thank you because it was at a time when I needed that. I needed to know that. Um, Terry Alexander, she's in the back. She's going to be the city coordinator for Columbus, and she did a presentation, Laurie did a presentation, I did a presentation, and then the last one is Doug Kinsey. He's on the Midwest board from Dayton, and Doug said, I'll do two presentations, and one of them is the F word. Um, so we got our presentations together, the fiduciary. Anyway, uh, we got our presentations together. So we've started this. And there's a couple exciting things that I want to hit on. But the one thing that I want to say before we go further is 
all the boards, when we met at, the, um, at our leadership training, what we talked about was the region boards all have different initiatives. And the Northeast, for instance, is the day-long symposium. And what everyone was looking at was they were looking at us for the Midwest Speakers Bureau. So I'm really excited for everybody who's here because you're part of something at the very beginning. Um, and there's a lot to it. I just want to say Peggy is here. Stand on up. She's from the <laughs> West Board. She's from Portland, Oregon. And she came all the way. So they have some interest. We have two people in the South that are attending. And the one thing that I wanted to say is that even if you're not part of the Midwest, if you want to be part of the Speakers Bureau, if your board isn't doing it yet, we welcome you and we'll fit you in with our conference calls and things. Um, the Northeast is interested too. I also really want to thank NAPFA. We've gotten such really good support. And I want to thank Ellen, who's been around and has given her support to this. And they're standing behind it. Karen Nystrom is a new NAFA member for public policy, and she's helping us. And I know she's going to tell you this, but I always feel for myself, I need to hear things sometimes more than once so that it sticks in my head, especially after spending four hours with Natalie. Um, they are willing to send out some of this PR stuff you're going to see from Ben that's really great. If we provide the names and addresses, they're willing to send it out for snail mail, so that will help all of us. Um, and then Ben, who's done a great job on the marketing, and he's going to show you about that. I just want to hit on a few things. You know, right now we have a grand goal, and we have NAFA being the power of trust. This is going to just be a win-win situation in a lot of areas. Um, I also wanted to introduce some other people who, for instance, Jim Cantrell is going to be city coordinator from Milwaukee, and he is the president of our board. And Jim always says, and he's right, not enough people know about NAPFA. We've got to get that out. Well, what we're hoping to do is people are going to start to hear about NAPFA because we're going to be able to send things to the media. We're going to be able to send things to groups. We're, they're going to tell our stories. And what we're hoping is the presentations are going to be unique. What we want to do is give them something they can't Google, show them, let them make good financial decisions with good financial material. The one epiphany I've had in the past several years is how many bright people really make poor financial decisions because they don't know better. And what I'm hoping is that eventually what's going to happen is when groups are talking, you know, we need a speaker for this or that, somebody's going to go, oh my gosh, I was at this meeting. They had a speaker from the Midwest, Na you know, the NAFA Midwest Speakers Bureau. They were great. That's where you should go. And it can really start to sm snowball. So hopefully what we'll be able to do is get the word of NAFA with the power of trust and the beacon for the public, the champion for the public. At the same time, provide great presentations and information to people. I was just talking to somebody with, with the situation our country is in. Certainly, we need to try to do everything we can to help people make better decisions because we will all be better off. At the same time, in our business, I don't know any advisor who can't benefit by honing in and improving and strengthening their presentation skills and also speaking to people because whether you're doing it with a group or you're doing it with one person, it doesn't matter. And I just want to close with one other thing. Terry and I, we're in Ohio. Terry and I both worked for the Ohio Public Employee Retirement System in that they hired our firms to give these seminars to people. And I just want to say, you know, they cut it back with the budget and I think 2008 was the last time we spoke. I never plugged my company. I did like a two-minute introduction or less, but I just had somebody come in my office. It's 2011 that heard me in 2008. So what I wanted to say is this really, by, you just do good, but it ends up, you know, I think things come back to you, and this is a really good way for us to kill all these birds with one stone. So we're really excited. We hold conference calls. We welcome everybody. Um, and hopefully you're going to learn more about this. Karen and Ben are going to finish up, so thank you for coming. <laughs>